What's going on guys? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors and check out this fish. I bet you've never seen a fish like this before. This is called a long tail sea bass found super deep in about 800 feet of water out here on the coast of Florida. And I'm going to show you guys how to flay this bad boy up. This is a really thick scaly fish so it's perfect for our dual edge Dextreme knife. Cool thing about this knife, actually got a tiger edge on the back of the blade and then I got my traditional edge on this side of the blade. So as you will see, I'm gonna flip the blade over and I'm gonna use the tiger edge side to get through these thick scales. This way, I don't dull up my knife edge. So we're gonna go ahead and use the tiger edge to get through these thick scales, go all the way down to the tail. And as you guys see, this is one of the prettiest fish we have in Florida. Pretty crazy to think that this guy lives in 800 feet of water where there's almost no light, but it's one of the most colorful fish out there. So what I did is I just separated the flesh from the spine, went all the way to the backbone. There's a set of pin bones right here we gotta break through. As you see, we freed it up. I'm gonna go over this long tail sea bass's rib cage, down on the other side of the backbone. And you guys see I'm using the traditional side of the blade now and it's perfect because this is where you're doing your precision work right so save your knife's precision edge for when you need to do work like this and use the tiger edge for when you want to get through thick scales and bones so let's say you wanted to cut the head off this fish you can use the tiger edge which is perfect and if you guys haven't seen this fish is so cool look at that this is why it's called the long tail sea bass he's got all these crazy protrusions coming off of his dorsal fin, ventral fins, just an absolutely stunner of a fish. Once again, I'm gonna use the tiger edge to get through those scales, which is the number one thing that's going to dull your knife. And once again, outside edge, get through the scales. And I just cannot get over how beautiful this fish is. One of my favorite fish to catch of all time, just simply because of the way they look and not to mention they are delicious. Break through the pin bones once again, over the rib cage, down on the other side of the backbone. And there you have it, look at that, absolutely gorgeous okay time to skin up the long tail sea bass i just lined up our fillet with the edge of the table remember you do have an edge on this side so be aware of that as you skin and my left hand always trails when i skin any fish and here we go look at that i love love this fish super flaky um, even though they are a sea bass reminds me a lot of something like a snapper and just Take one last final look at that gorgeous fish skin. And we'll do the same thing with this one. And the reason I tell you guys to line your fillet up with the edge of the table, you can see my blade is flush with the table. If I were to fillet and skin out here, I can never get my blade flush, so I'm never gonna be able to get it perfectly flat. Okay, all you got left to do you can cook it with the bones in, but I prefer to take the pin bones out. So go on one side, go on the other, lift up, and we're just going to get rid of this little belly bone. And that's it. So there we go. If you guys are interested in this knife, you guys can find it linked below or at DexterOutdoors.com. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like these filet videos, find them helpful, make sure to like the video, comment below what you guys want to see next, and we will catch you in the next one.